Good morning. One of the proud traditions of St. Louis County is our Adopt a Family program, now in its 29th year. The program runs during the holidays to help families who would not otherwise have gifts for their children and for their loved ones. In addition to clothes, toys, and food items, uh, some families will get a gift that keeps them safely in their home, and that is uh, their utility bills will be paid. Families will also get bedding and mattresses. This year, nearly 100 families were adopted. For the past three decades, hundreds of St. Louis County government employees and various departments have taken the lead to make the holiday season a bit brighter, helping more than 4,200 families. Each year, county employees are joined by businesses, faith-based groups, and private citizens to make the Adopt-A-Family program a success. The Department of Human Services provides the staff support to coordinate the program, including identifying families that will be adopted each year. Yesterday, the gifts were dropped off and packaged and are ready for pickup today by families and caseworkers. And we know that every year there are families who are struggling. Illness, unemployment, and floods and other life-changing events can alter a family's financial status in the blink of an eye. And that's why a program like this is so important. And that's why our Department of Human Services uh, focuses on this. And during the pandemic, even more families struggled. With the help of federal grants, $80 million in emergency rental assistance was distributed through COVID funds uh, this past year. And government is at its best when it's working to help families who need help the most. This past year, county workers stepped up to make sure that the basic needs of residents in St. Louis County were met. And our Department of Human Services was at the forefront. They hosted hiring events and enrolled more than 200 people in skill-based training programs. And they provided our seniors with rides to critical appointments and helped connect veterans to available services like health care and housing. At this time, I'd like to ask our Department of Human Services Director, um, Howard Hayes, to come to the podium and uh, make a few comments. Howard? Thank you, Dr. Page. And good morning, everyone. If I may, I'd like to make brief remarks this morning. As a little boy growing up in some of the poorest areas of our region, I remember vividly our neighbors sharing their gifts and presents with my family during the holiday season. And I'm here to share with you this morning that the spirit of neighbor helping neighbor is alive and well in St. Louis County. And so, today we celebrate the diverse members of St. Louis County coming together to help those who need a little help this holiday season. The outpouring of support and willingness to help others truly shows that when people come together and work towards a common goal, great things happen. This year, we were able to provide support and assistance, as Dr. Page mentioned, to almost 100 families. Through St. Louis County and its citizens, we were able to bring some joy and additional happiness to some of the families who are having an especially difficult year. Thank you, Dr. Page, for your leadership. Thank you to everyone in the Department of Human Services. And thank every one of our adopters for their generosity, sharing their love to those in need this holiday season. Thank you, everyone. Happy holidays. Thank you, Howard. And I would uh, be glad to answer any questions.